Ashley. A few moments ago, I was on. <laughs> I was like on Musically, and then there's a lot of things about saying old oh, stuff about the terrorist attacks in Paris, and then the earthquake in Japan. And um, I thought that was all just a prank, you know, Friday the 13th, okay, nothing's gonna happen. But then, boom, something happened. I jinxed the world, basically. Well, actually, my friend did. But, I mean, I didn't think anything was gonna happen. And if it was gonna be, if it was gonna happen, then I didn't think that it would be this bad. That people actually died, like, a lot of people died from the earthquake in Japan and the shootings in Paris like a lot of people died like a lot and it's just so sad I just had to post it on my Twitter and Instagram and it was just crazy you know so crazy people dying And even, like, I did a Musical.ly on it, and it's on my Twitter page, and if you're following me on Musical.ly, it's on there, too. It's just really hard. But, there's, like, a lot of families out there who are, like, warring for their loved ones out on the street, and they're not sure if they're coming back home. And I actually want to, like, I don't know. I mean, everyone's going to say, oh, I feel sorry for you. But, like, I generally feel sorry if you guys are watching this right now. Um, Probably, like, not right now, this very moment in time. But probably later on if you guys ever watch this like when I was doing the musically I was like trying so hard not to cry it was just so moving and I just really don't know what to say I uh, I don't even know what I can do I feel useless I can't do anything it seems like no one can do anything and what are the policemen going to do? Just wait until everything calms down? No, they're going to kill more people. And more people are going to die. So they can, like, try to find ways to do something. Like, for real. Because it's making a whole lot of people worry. Like, I see it on social media and stuff like that. I see, like celebrities and stuff posting about it and it's like oh my gosh it's it's a real thing and then my mom turned on the TV like an hour ago and then it was on like um I think something news it's a news that I think people from either Washington or um New York wait hold on let me go check it out okay so I'm watching the KITV 4 news since I live in Hawaii and this is the 10 o'clock news when I probably post it it's gonna be like 11 o'clock anyway so yeah they're just talking about the whole Paris thing and like um having like people talk on the phone and stuff like that um so it's like I think it's like pre-recorded stuff because they don't directly ask questions it's like an interview over the phone so yeah I really don't know what to say like my mom was asking me are you okay because she knows like especially stuff like this I cry because like I don't want people to die like I really don't it makes me really sad that someone in the world or multiple people in this world 
who would do such a thing like why even do it like why are you gonna kill innocent people who are just having dinner or having some their anniversary today or whatnot or something like that you know like it's not fair that innocent people have to die that's the bottom line like why can they just kill people and people not really care about it because i don't see nothing getting done like they always talk about it and everything and they're like, oh, we're trying the best that we can is like um no you guys are kind of not handling the situation properly because it feels for me yeah i'll do the whole call thing but then i'll like if it's like a glass building and they're like right there i'll like throw like a tear gas or something over there I don't know I would do something like that cuz it's like why even like torture people like if the people are like in one area then that would be more easier to do you can just throw it in the opposite direction of where they're sitting or whatnot but it's like they have to do something they have to like break a window or something or like break a window where they're by or close where they are so the people can get out or like one by one can like start like getting out or some magically like not by like not getting shot or whatever but I don't know if I'm gonna sleep tonight guys like I don't know I don't know come to think about it if something like this happens outside of the u.s and something like this actually happens like in the u.s that's really creepy and that's really scary and that would hurt me even more to even witness or see or even experience because i would be scared like honestly i'll be scared <laughs> but like deep down inside it's like you just have to keep your hope and your faith that you're gonna be the ones who are gonna live. I mean, shoot, if I was in there with my family member, I'd rather take the bullet for them and I would tell them, use my body as a shield. Like, I would tell my family that, like, I'm not kidding. Like, I have thought about a lot of scenarios like that. Like, life with that situation, I'd rather get the bullet than any of my family members, even though I don't like them. They're still my family, especially, like, my mom, my dad, my brother, and my sister. Like, I would take a thousand bullets if I, if I needed to, if my body could handle that many. Because they're the ones that raised me, and... They're the ones who pretty much took care of me my whole life. And I wouldn't want that to go to waste. But that's just me. I'd rather put everybody else before me than to care about myself. That's just the kind of person who I basically am. Take care of everybody else but me. All you guys see is like all smiles and everything, but... You guys really don't see me cry, you guys don't really see me frustrated, you guys don't see me stressed. Um, but I'm stressed all the time, so it it, it kind of just blends in. Oh, I'm crying. So, such a touchy, feely subject. Sorry. But... This is wrong what they're doing and yeah, it's just wrong entirely entirely wrong of what they're doing right now keeping people against their own will shooting people shooting innocent people 
You can probably tell if they play too much GTA or whatnot. Stealing cars, shooting people out of random, getting headshots all the time. Yeah. But. I really don't know what to say. Kinda don't. Okay. Oh, I hope this video did not disturb you guys and I want you guys to go to sleep because it's pretty late or if you guys are watching it at another time go to sleep <laughs> um when you get home don't think about the situation like yeah just try and cope with it as best as you can write something like write something down create a montage write paragraphs write a poem about how you feel about all of this um yeah, if you guys have any, I would love to see it. Um, or like make a slideshow video, of something. Think about dogs. I don't know. Think about something you like. Sing a song if you really wanted to. Anything that will like make you happy. Yeah. So um, thank you for this unexpected watching. I can't talk can't tell thank you for watching this unexpected video that i have posted up even though i'm supposed to post one tomorrow i will post one tomorrow um it will not be at the same time as this no um hopefully not anything later than right now so people are like blowing up my phone right now yeah people blowing up my phone People liking my photos on Instagram like, and everything. People texting me and whatnot. So I had to go reply to those. And um, you guys stay safe out there. Um, just, I, just, just don't worry about what's going on. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. And go sleep.